Hello everybody, welcome to my breakdown of Ava, the King's Pet boss fight in the Dark Souls 2 DLC, the Crown of the Ivory King. So first off, you need the Eye of the Priestess to even see this boss. If you don't have that and this boss is invisible, then uh, watch my other videos on how to get that item. There are two different summons you can use for this boss fight. Masterless Gluncore, who is a little bit closer to the bonfire, and Steelheart Ellie, whose summon sign is immediately outside uh, the boss door. Uh, neither of them are very good at all. They're both great tanks, but they do very little damage. I would not recommend using them just because of how much extra health the boss gets from summoning them. Ava is weak to fire and dark attacks and dishes out physical and magic attacks. So keep that in mind when equipping yourself for this fight. All right, so uh, this fight right here is actually new game plus 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 or bonfire intensity three. And the reason that what you're seeing here might be a little bit different than what you're seeing on your first time through is there's no extra uh, snow flying around. It's a clear day and not a snowy day. And that's just because I burned a bonfire aesthetic to replay the boss. Um, and that'll make more sense after you beat the boss. Uh, so what I would recommend doing if you is just kind of rolling towards her hind legs and trying to attack her from behind because she will probably give you a little bit of distance and uh, give you an opportunity to heal up or rebuff your weapon uh, and give you kind of a chance to kind of reassess and roll past her attacks again head on. Like her, her attacks are much easier to roll past head on versus if you're just side strafing her. Uh, her magic attacks are very easy to avoid. Her magic missile uh, homing missile attack. All you have to do is sprint left or right to get past it. Uh, if she looks like she's about to cough up a hairball, that means she's either going to do uh, her Wrath of Gods AoE attack, where that, that does a ton of damage, or she's going to do... I don't even know if she did it in this playthrough right here. Um, she does this kind of ground slam up. There we go, where all the, um, all the ice spikes kind of come out from the ground, and those do a ton of damage as well. But pretty easy to avoid. They don't have a ton of range on them. So uh, there's the other hairball move, and I thought I was going to just be able to walk out of the range of that. Uh, I would also highly, highly recommend uh, equipping uh, some repair powder on the quick slot before this fight because I don't know why, but I had durability issues during this fight when I've never had durability issues before. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing. I don't know if that's something that changed in the day one patch, but who knows. Um, so just keep kind of rolling towards her hind legs. And after she misses with an attack, get an, get one or two swipes in and then try to back away. It's, it's much easier to avoid her attacks if you're rolling straight at her and not left to right, if that makes sense. So kind of take her head on and roll past her attacks, not like left to right. Staying locked on also makes it much easier to get some of the uh, hind leg attacks in because the way her body is kind of structured, I guess, it's very easy to miss attacks, depending on what weapon you're using, um, just kind of underneath her torso. And you, unfortunately, you can't change. There aren't multiple lock-on points like some of the other larger bosses. And there we go. Ava, the king's pet, has been vanquished.